We are at an airport on an island. The little plane has just arrived. It's landed on the tarmac. It's taxiing down the runway. It's come to take people to work on the mainland. Robbie, can you hear the engines? The plane is getting closer as it nears the building where the passengers will get on and off. There's a control tower where the person tells the pilot how the weather is and any instructions he needs to know. The plane is turned towards the building so that the passengers can get off. Robbie, can you see the propellers moving? The plane is getting ready to take off. Have you seen too the pattern on the wings and the tail? They're like on your trousers. They're a tartan to show it's a Scottish aeroplane. The engines are winding up. Soon it will turn ready to take off. Let's just watch. is turning. The engine noise has got a lot louder. The propellers are spinning faster. It's taxiing down the runway, ready to take off. The plane is in the sky, flying off to the mainland. Hello. We really enjoyed watching the aeroplane taking off. It was making such a noise with its engines and propellers. But it was great seeing it soar in the sky. What was that? Reminded you of a story about Pete. Now Pete was a little aircraft who lived on an airstrip near the coast. And one day when he had finished taking his passengers for their trip to the city, he came back and as he landed, he saw a big, colourful poster. He got so excited because on the poster it said there was going to be a race. No, you can't race because you can't fly. Well, 
he decided he needed to practice. His friend Jim, who was a jet plane, said to him, I don't know that you're going to get very fast. I will practice, said Pete. So the next day, he took off from the airstrip and flew as fast as he could towards the sea. When he got back, Jim said it wasn't bad. So, if he wanted to try and get a bit quicker, he could fly with him the next day. I won't catch you, said Pete. You're much too fast. Don't worry. It will help you to get faster. So, the next day in the morning, before their jobs, Pete and Jim took off. They flew as fast as they could towards the sea and back. Did I do any better? Did I get quicker? Hmm. Yes, you did. But I still think that if you had to go over a hill, you'd be too slow. Right. I'm going to fly up the valley inland and over the hills. So off he went as fast as he could up the valley. When he got to the hills, he got slower and slower. I can get up, I can get up, he said. Wee down the other side, he enjoyed that. Well, the day of the race came and Jim, his friend, came to watch. Pete was with lots of other small aeroplanes and the starter said, are you ready? Steady, go! They flew up into the sky. Pete was doing quite well. He was fairly near the front when all of a sudden... Pete, are you there? Pete, are you there? Answer your radio. Yes, said Pete. Are you near the top valley? Yes. Well, I need you to go and pick up a boy who's had a fall and needs to get to hospital. Oh, but I'm in a race. I can't go. But he thought about it and he said, OK, he needs my help. And he turned away and went to find the boy who was laying injured near his mum. They put him in the back of the aeroplane and his mum sat in the seat next to him and they put their seatbelts on and off Pete flew. They got him to the hospital and his mum said, thank you, thank you. I don't know what we'd have done without you. Pete flew back to the airstrip and found Jim waiting for him with a big rosette which he gave to him. You're a hero, he said. You helped that boy and his mum. Pete felt good about that. It had been more special to be helpful than to win the race. I wonder if he'll do a race another time. See you for activity time and singing. Bye. <laughs>
so when you're running around flying it it looks really really cool really pretty so you need to get out your crayons or your felt pens or your stickers and you need to make this um, your own design make it your own so I've got some ideas for you you could either just do a pattern on it lots of squiggle squiggles I did that with a felt pen different colors squiggles that's pretty that's one or you could make a stripey one that's done with crayons lots of different colored stripes that will look good when it's flying around won't it yeah now then you could draw a picture on it if you're feeling very clever here's one with a with a rainbow on it because rainbows are in the sky aren't they so when it's flying whee, there'll be a rainbow in the sky that's another idea you could if you're good at writing you could write your name on one that's my name that's a sandra that's my name and you can put stickers on it that's another name but really that's another idea but you can do whatever you want on your kite here's another one i'm going to make into the kite i'll put a butterfly on this one pretty colored butterfly but your job is to have a think, like, what do you want on your kite? Something that you enjoy and something that you can draw really, really well. So when you've done that, you need some help from your adult. Okay, I hope, I hope they'll help you. I'm sure they will. So first of all, you need to get two straws and stick them on with sellotape in a cross. So I'll just do that. I've got some sellotape ready here. Stick this straw on, nice and strong. Get the sellotape, because we don't want it to, um, to fall off. So we need to stick it nice and strong. But don't put the sellotape in the middle. Put it on the edges, because in the middle we need to tie a piece of string, okay? So we need it, we need, the, we need it stuck like that nice cross in the middle with the straws okay now then you need a piece of string now it doesn't want to be too long then you can run around the garden or around the park and fly and hold on to one end and fly your kite so this this end needs to go around the cross so you need to thread it through and tie it round nice and tight so you don't lose it tie it round the middle right there we go so you'll need your adult to tie the knots probably so you've got a piece of string coming out the middle of the kite okay now then this tight kite needs a tail doesn't it so we need another piece of string not too long okay just to make sure that the kite doesn't just spin around and around, around. It needs a little tail that one's got all screwed up. You need to stick that on with um, sellotape as well. Okay. So he's got a, he's got, we've got, oh, all this string, but we've got a, a tail and we've got a string to hold when we're running around with it. Now on the tail, you could, which is a very easy idea, get some bits of tissue. Yeah. Get some bits of tissue and dip it in some PVA glue dip dip and just wrap it round the string wrap it round stick it on the stick it on the tail that's one idea anyway and i need to put some more on because one's not enough no we want a very pretty kite stick some uh, screwed up tissue paper dip 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 and wrap it round the tail so now you should have a super kite. Look at that. It's got a pretty picture on that you've drawn. Any picture you like. And it's got a nice tail on it and a string to hold. So now your job, toddlers, is to run very, very fast around the garden or outside, wherever your adult says it's safe to run, uh, and fly your kite. Do you know that song? 
Let's go fly a kite. And I want to see you all running around with your kites this week. I'll be looking out for you. Ooh, I will. I'll be watching for you. Okay, have a great time. See you soon. Bye. sing now Jesus loves me very much Jesus loves me very much very much very much Jesus loves me very much he's my friend Jesus loves me very much, very much, very much. Jesus loves me very much, he's my friend. For the grand old Duke of York, he had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill And he marched them down again And when they were up, they were up And when they were down, they were down And when they were only halfway up They were neither up nor down Come on children, let's do some marching! The Grand Duke of York, 
he had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Well done, children! Goodbye all, goodbye all, goodbye all, we're sorry to see you go. Goodbye all, goodbye all, goodbye all, we're sorry to see you go. Until the next time, bye!